In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 18. To start off, you're going to go to File, Project Settings, and pick your desired frame rate. I'll just go with 30. Next, you're going to go to the toolbox. You're going to type in Fusion Composition and slide that in the Edit tab. Next, you're going to want to just go to the Fusion page. When you open the Fusion page, you'll just see an empty screen. What you want to do is slide in a background node and click 2 on it to view it. Now you can pick your background's color. I'll just go with a brighter version of black. This does the job. All right. Next, you're going to want to hit Shift the space on your keyboard and that will open your Select Toolbox. I'll be using the shortcut a lot in the video, so I recommend you to just learn the shortcut. It's very simple. Shift plus space. All right. Now, we're going to type in grid. Click enter. And connect that to the background node. Click two on it in order to view it. So now we can see the grid. Let's just real quick change the color of the grid. Something a little bit more dark. This will do. And what we want to do is adjust the amount of row cells and column cells here in the inspector. I'm going to go with seven row cells and five column cells. Now you can definitely see how some lines are thicker than others. So what you want to do is go to major line width and set this to one. And while you're at it, you can adjust the horizontal line width to match the vertical lines. Perfect. Now, if you don't want the grid to take up the entire screen, you can go to width and height here and change it to your desired value. I'll just go with 0.6. I'm going to just remove the top line and the right line by adding in a rectangle mask. We're going to make it bigger and just move it down just so that it cuts the top line and move it to the left so that it cuts the right line. Okay, so next we're going to highlight the left line and the bottom line by using another background node. I'm going to go here, view it, pick the color. I'll just pick something kind of pale yellowish and add in a rectangle mask to the background. Now, let's make this smaller and move it over to match the left line. And now we can adjust the height so that it fits properly. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same for the bottom line. Copy the background node, paste it in, and add it to the merge. And then we can add a rectangle mask. You can click to on the merge to node to see the background. Now we can adjust the height and width of it. An optional step to make the graph a little bit more fancy is to add in a displace node and then drag in a fast noise node. Connect these two together. Go to fast noise, set the scale to 20. Now go to the displace node, change the type to XY and change the X refraction and the Y refraction slightly. And as you can see, it makes the graph just a little bit wavy. Now, the last step for the layout is to add in your text. So we're gonna left click on the displace node, click shift space, add in a text plus node. I can view the merge tree. I'm gonna just start off with zero. You can pick whatever font you like. I'll just go with this one. Now I recommend adding in a right eight H anchor so that whenever you type something, it will stay in this place and the text will just adjust itself to the left. So we're gonna move the zero over to the bottom left corner. I'll just make the size a little bit smaller. Okay, and now you're gonna wanna do this for every single line that you have in your graph. So you can just copy and paste the text node, add it, 
change the text to whatever you want to and then you can just adjust the position to match the lines And you're gonna do this for both the vertical line and the horizontal line. And I'm just gonna speed this process up because it's all very repetitive and you can just do the same thing over and over again. Okay, so now that we have our full layout, we can start animating the graph. So we're gonna wanna add a background node. Change the color, I'll just use white. This will be the color of the line that goes across your graph. Now we're gonna add in a polygon node and draw the line that goes across our graph. I'm just gonna do this really, really quickly. You can take your time with this and make it look as good as possible. Just for the sake of tutorial, I'll just go really, really quickly. Just adjust it here. Make it a little bit more smooth. Okay. This seems fine. Okay, so now that you have your polygon, you can go view the merge. And then go to border width, increase it to whatever you want. I'll just go with this. Okay, so now that we have our line, we can animate it. Go to the polygon node, go somewhere around the middle. I'll go to frame 75, go to length, and create a keyframe right here. Go to the first frame and create a keyframe at zero. Now, what this will do is it will basically ride out the line as it goes and then stop at frame 75. What you can do to make this animation smoother is go to spline, select the polygon, go here, go to the last keyframe and click S. That will make the graph a little bit smoother. So now I can see how the animation goes. Now the last step is to connect the media out node to the last merge node so that you can view it in the edit tab and it can actually render out and be in your video. And that's it for this video, leave a like if this was helpful and let me know in the comments what you want to see next.